Let's check in with Jason Calvi uh, for maybe a little bit of fun. I'm not exactly sure what you have for us here, Jason, but to set the bar, Zoe Chapala found a surfer on Tuesdays during the storm. You've apparently found a tie-in powerlifting, snow what? shoveling. What's going on here, my man? Strongmen, Olympic weightlifting, it's all going on here. So when you think about lifting snow, I mean, it, it can be pretty, pretty heavy when you go down, pick it up and, and try to clear off your driveway and your sidewalk. So I'm like, well, who can give us better tips about the proper technique of lifting than a retired American and world strongman who competed in all those competitions where they lift up the big tree branch, uh, tree trunks and, and rocks and all that stuff. So that's Matt, want it, For, former retired strongman. And then Julie Peterson, who is an Olympic weightlifter competitor, also trains powerlifting and, and stuff like that. Just to get some tips on how exactly to do the proper mechanics of lifting the snow, because it is a workout, right? Even for you guys who are have done this your whole life or professionals at this at the topic, is it still tough to, to do the uh, it's tiring, yeah. Tell us about it's that. It's not as much fun as, you, <laughs> you know, lifting weights. But there's important things to remember about lifting and throwing snow. And in our world, we have strongman and powerlifting and weightlifting and Scottish Highland Games. Just like lifting, there's no one way to throw mm. snow. Okay. So we want everyone to find their own groove here. And so we can walk you through it. We okay. can walk Matt through it. Matt, you want to demonstrate some, some techniques. So for example, I mean, do we want to just kind of do a lot of shaking of our body and moving the torso around? Is that going to so help us? Probably we not. definitely want to warm up a little, okay. right? The snow is heavy, like you've mentioned on air. So we thought we'd go through a couple different warm ups. A warm up for a strong man. Matt is, uh, has extensive experience. Show us a warm up for a strong man. Okay, that was great. So, <laughs> okay, take a seat. Yeah, that <laughs> take was Take a good. break. <laughs> now, a warm up for a power lifter would be, yeah, same thing, only the hood up. Maybe a um, couple ammonia capsules really get hyped to do it. Uh, warm up for a Highland Games athlete. Well, we skipped that part because that would be walking back from the beer tent. So <laughs> okay. we're okay there. And then a warm up for a Olympic weightlifter would probably be to take some clothes off and make sure a lot of people are watching. Okay. And also, there we go, there we go. And uh, do a couple band stretches. Okay, super, good. That's good, we're ready. Okay, okay. we're ready to do this. Okay, awesome, thank you. So from there, you want to make sure, the crew did a, a good reminder here, make sure you're fueled up. I think these guys are fueled with Big Macs, so we're good to go. <laughs> So Matt will grab the shovel and we're going to go strongman style first. So remember strongman want to do the most amount of weight as fast as possible. Good. Good. That's good. <laughs> and then what does a strongman do? Yeah, they're done. That's good. So yeah. is that tough even for you to, to, to lift that? I mean, that's a pretty, no. it, pretty it easy, right? Nowadays, yeah, 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 yeah. We get tired quick. So you yeah. take a little break in between sets, just like you would in the gym, right? Absolutely. You do, you do a heavy go. load and then, and exactly. then get back in there, take a break, lift it up. A power lifter would want to do largely the same thing, only with a few more dramatics. So maybe set your feet, really lean down. There you go. There you go. Nice. See how he squatted, um, throw it over the neighbor's car. And uh, he squatted down. You've all heard lift with your legs, not with your back, but of course your back is connected to everything. So make sure you're squatting down and a weightlifter would want to do largely the same, only here's some people, there's people watching now. So that, <laughs> that makes weightlifters happy. So same thing. Oh, very good, nice. very good technique. Almost triple extension, which is what we're going for. Uh, and then the Scottish Highland Games athlete would um, really just leave the snow and go back to the beer tent. So, <laughs> yeah. so, so when we're doing these lifts, I mean, the proper mechanics, you, there's many different ways as you just li listed them uh, of weightlifting, of, of moving weight. So, but general principle, torso tight, I mean, squat, I mean, what are, what are some techniques to help people that are in okay shape? They're, they're not gonna have a heart attack out here, though, you know, we know after every snowstorm, there are people that do have heart attacks because they're not in good shape. Mm -hmm. But for those who are in moderately good shape, what are some techniques to make the lift 
a little bit easier or to use the best mechanics of, of lifting to, to move the snow more quickly maybe. Yeah, in all seriousness, you do want to keep, if I'm training and I come out and shovel, uh, I want to keep the shovel actually as close to me as possible. Okay. So Matt will show in all seriousness that we don't want to lift it and then just throw it way out because that's mm. going to just put all that strain on your back. Mm. So just try to keep it close and just do a little bit at a time, just like that. And, uh, and in all seriousness, once you do get tired, take a break. Mm -hmm. The snow's not going anywhere, right? Mm. Okay. All right. So is this a squat or a deadlift? What, would, yes. what are we doing here, both? Yes. Both, okay. Yes, it's combining the mechanics to stay safe, do the most amount of work as mm -hmm. possible, yeah. and you know, get some exercise. What should we not do? What What are some, when you see some neighbors maybe that are uh, shoveling snow, and you're like, wow, that's some really bad mechanics. What would be, what would get us hurt out here? Don't bend your legs at all. Okay. Do it all like this. That That's gonna get you hurt. If, you, if you're straight-legged. Your, your low back is going to yeah. feel okay. that pretty immediately. And again, you're not going to be able to do it as long. Mm -hmm. um, if you're feeling out of breath, take a, take a break. Mm -hmm. That's what the chairs are for. Yeah. Take a break. And when you are lifting weights, you're taking five-minute breaks in breaks. between sets, 10 minutes sometimes if it's really, really heavy, heavy maximum. Okay. Right? Is that what we do in I the gym, know. Jason? <laughs> we haven't done that in the gym. Five yeah. minutes, five-minute <laughs> breaks. Uh, so again, bend the knees. Uh, what about the back? What, what should we do with the back? How should we keep the back? Well, the back just does what the back does, mm -hmm. right? It's, everything works as a system. So you just want to make sure you are staying a little tight. That's different for different people, mm -hmm. how, what that looks like. But yeah, just don't, you'll feel it. If you feel a twinge, stop. Don't keep going. Knock on your neighbor's door. Mm -hmm. um, there's kids running around needing a couple extra bucks. Mm -hmm. Have them do it. It's all good. Julie, uh, when you're done doing your sidewalk and your driveway and you're somebody who trains regularly, Matt, you train as well, are you, are you still gonna be sore after you do this sort of workout out on, out on, the, out on the snow here? No. No, okay. Uh, no, that sounds really egotistical, but no. <laughs> okay, so if <laughs> no. you do regular weight training, then probably not gonna, this isn't gonna you'll, be too much of a- pretty good. Yeah, it's just a yeah. little bit of maybe a cardio workout out here at this right. point, right? Yeah. Anything else you wanna share with our audience? Uh, just be safe out there. Have fun. It's a snow day. Nice. Enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. Well, appreciate it, Matt. Julie, thanks so much for sharing your expertise of weightlifting, strongman competitions, Olympic weightlifting, and you can use those techniques. Again, Jason, don't I got a keep question your legs for straight. You. If you're okay Sure, you got with a question, this. Carl. Go for um, it. First of all, uh, the strongman there makes a shovel look like my kid's little garden pail thing they have. That's an impressive size. They say that the, Chances, the shovel makes it look like a little garden uh, shovel <laughs> Chances with the that strongman he could here. <laughs> lift you up, Jason. Just, you know, yeah, hands on the yeah. shoulders, lift you up, <laughs> make it look like nothing out there. Could you lift me up right now? Like, would that be... Uh, I'm, like 200. Throw you over his shoulder? I don't know. Just lift me up like that. <laughs> sure. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. thanks, Carl. Thanks. Now we're good. I mean, okay. I don't... It's a snow day. We got to have some fun with it. <laughs> like it's nothing. Two... <laughs> awesome, Carl. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll do that again. They'll throw me in the snow next time. That is Fox 6 political reporter Jason Calvi does it all for us and always with a smile. We appreciate you, man. Uh -huh. Thank you so much.